The moon is strange, wonderfully strange. Unlike anything else in our solar system, it hangs in the sky as both a mirror and a memory, a silent witness to Earth's most ancient past. But how did our world end up with such a remarkable companion? The answer is almost unbelievable. The moon is, quite literally, a piece of Earth. Let's travel back. 4.5 billion years, when the solar system was a violent nursery of newborn worlds. Our young Earth was still forming, molten, unstable, restless. Then came Thea, a Mars-sized protoplanet, drawn by gravity and destiny into a collision that would change everything. At 20,000 miles per hour, Thea slammed into Earth. The impact was beyond imagination. Mountains melted, oceans of magma erupted into space, and the skies burned brighter than a thousand suns. The cores of both worlds merged, enlarging Earth's iron heart. Their mantles, layers of molten rock, mixed and churned together, and fragments of crust were hurled outward, forming a glowing ring of debris that circled our planet like a fiery halo. In a matter of hours, or perhaps centuries, this cosmic chaos began to settle. Dust cooled, gravity pulled the fragments together, and from that swirling disk, a new world was born, the moon. But this was no quiet birth. The newborn moon was a molten ocean of fire. Its surface shimmered with rare elements, potassium, rare earth metals, and phosphorus, known collectively as KREP. These ingredients don't usually mix, yet on the moon they're found together, forged by unimaginable heat. That heat, that energy, came from the collision that bound Earth and Moon forever. Some scientists think there may have been a second moon, smaller, slower, orbiting farther away, that eventually merged with the first, explaining why the far side of the Moon is so much rougher and thicker than the side we see. Others imagine something even more dramatic, that the impact vaporized both worlds, creating a vast donut-shaped cloud of plasma called a synestia. From that glowing ring of gas, the moon condensed, still tied by gravity to its parent world. However it happened, the result was the same, two worlds sharing the same cosmic DNA. Earth and Moon, siblings born from the same catastrophe. Even today, lunar rocks reveal the same isotopic fingerprints as Earth's crust. They are made of the same stuff, matter that once belonged to a single world. Of course, no theory is perfect. If the impact was energetic enough to melt the moon, why doesn't Earth's surface show the same scars? And why do lunar rocks still hold traces of water and other volatile materials that such an explosion should have erased? The questions remain. But despite its mysteries, the giant impact hypothesis remains our most elegant explanation, a story that unites the evidence we have into a single cosmic narrative. Without the moon, Earth's tides, its climate, and perhaps even the rhythm of life itself would be unrecognizable. The moon stabilizes our tilt, shapes our oceans, and reflects our history in every silent orbit. Born from destruction, it became a source of balance and beauty, a reminder that even from chaos, creation can emerge. The moon is more than a satellite. It is our twin, our fragment, our reflection, a bright scar of ancient fire still circling the world that gave it life.